the general opinion about public lighting. The first questions to the respondents was whether lighting is essential for them on a bicycle lane at night. As you can see, most of the respondents, 83%, think it's important to have public lighting on a bicycle path at night. The minorities who don't think this is important were mostly runners or people who prefer little to no lighting. When it came to sufficient lighting on the bicycle paths, the majority agreed that there was sufficient lighting. This was 63%. The minority who felt that there was not enough lighting on the bicycle paths were male respondents. The luminaries. The majority agreed that there were enough lamps on the bicycle path. This was 67%. The minority consisted of scooter riders and cyclists in the age category of 70 to 79. Now, the opinion on the smart lights. As you can see in the word cloud, some respondents think there should be more lighting with the smart lights. Others think it's a good for the number of people using the bicycle path. And others think it's more than enough, so more light is not needed. 75% of respondents indicated that lighting can influence the rate of accidents. This is because road users can make traffic safety on the bicycle path unsafe by not following traffic rules. In a situation where a bicycle has no lights and a scooter driver drives faster than the permitted limit, can lead to a serious accident. Public lighting can help with this because it allows people to see more. Crime. Opinions are divided on this subject. More female than male respondents think that lighting can influence criminal activities. Male respondents believe that if someone wants to attack them, they should hide and public lighting has no role in this. Scooter riders and runners also disagreed with this statement. But this is not surprising, because they can escape faster if there is danger. Perception of safety and traffic safety. I feel safe when walking or cycling on this bicycle lane at night. The majority of the respondents did feel safe. This was 63% and 33% felt unsafe. It should be noted that the 33% who did not feel safe mainly represent female respondents and respondents on the course monster path. The male respondents who have indicated that they do feel safe said that if they put themselves in the shoes of a woman or children, they don't feel safe on the bicycle path. Traffic safety. Opinions were divided on this subject. It is mainly cyclists between the age of 40 to 69 and females who believe that road safety is not good after dark. On to the relation between public lighting, fear and stress. For 67% of the respondents, public lighting has no influence on their fear of going outside via the bicycle lane. It is mainly male respondents who have no fear. 93% of the respondents feel no stress when they walk or cycle on the bicycle path. It is good to say that these were male respondents. I think reducing the intensity of public lighting is a good idea to save energy and so reduce carbon emissions. Opinion on this subject were also divided. Some respondents think that safety comes first. Other respondents don't believe in climate change or have no opinion on the reduction of CO2 emissions. And some respondents are very aware of the negative consequences of light pollution for the environment and for the animals. Not only public lighting can contribute to a sense of safety. There are other factors that play a role in this. First, it is important to know the background of the user. Gender differences, cultural differences, victimization experiences must be taken into account. Secondly, the course of a bicycle path, the landscape, the surroundings, and the feeling of entrapment can lead users to feel unsafe. Lastly, the image of respondents of a street or bicycle path also plays a role in the perception of safety. I hope you learned a lot Thank you for watching.
बाय